Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. This is Casey and we will be continuing on with Star Wars The Old Republic. I think last time we left off we were about to get our own ship. That sounds freaking awesome. I gotta say so myself. What do you got? You are strong. I know. But you could be stronger. Ooh. Oh. Show no mercy. I'll try not to. No promises. Alright, Vimran. I'm heading out. I don't know when I'm gonna be back here. I might not see you for a while. Alright. Have a good one. Yeah, I stabbed that guy. I don't know how he's here. Very resilient. Do I have any junk? Do you require medical attention? Yeah. Doesn't work on you. I'll drive. You be well, Mr. Mr. Robot Man. What was that guy? What were you looking at? The hell is that guy looking at? Oh, that's armor. I was like, what the hell is going on with his head? He's just a big armored man. Ready for departure. Maybe. We shall see. Enjoy your stay. Hmm. Is that a challenge? Ah, oh, just a scenic drive. The drama and costs. On the way. This is... Why are they always tell me to go to these places? There's a whole lot left to go. What are you doing? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? All right. What do you think he's looking at, Mr. Robot? I'm gonna go here. I shall try. A bunch of people talking over there. I wonder what they're talking about. We'll never know. I'm gonna miss all the disco balls everywhere. Good old fashioned boogieing. That's why you come here to drum and cuss. Boogie. I mean, why else would you come here? There's nothing really else to do here. No, I don't know what the hell else you would do. Right, Ben? Oh, look at that money! The Order of Revan remains hidden. Already the name of Darth Charnas is shunned in Cost City. Turning the strength of his apprentice against him, a worthy master 
A worthy masterstroke for a follower of Revan, you have done a great service for us, but the restoration of Revan's mask uh, to us is greater still. I fear, however, that it, it cannot remain in our hands indefinitely. The mask of Revan has a higher purpose to fulfill. Ah, you gotta wear it. Carrying our teachings with you, know the power of death and rebirth and their ability to cleanse the mind of outdated preconceptions. Embrace win wisdom, no matter its source. Seek allies who may teach you as well as serve. Alright. I'll, I'll try. And I'm going to delete this message before it blows up. Ooh, Barris sent me something. Your lenient ways have proven fruitful. Oh. My apprentice, but do not let this encourage further clemency. Oh, I'll try not to. The slave captains have seen reason, my lord. Your apprentice preferred blackmail to bloodshed and secured proof that they're selling their own back into slavery. Your exposure has ensured the slave captain's silence all blackmail threats against you have ceased. Furthermore, they have generously donated the profits and their slaves trade to you. All oh, right. The slave revolt now rages without error. I will continue to monitor the situation. All right. I mean, why kill them? You can just use them, right? Ooh, a credit box. Our ploy has worked, Acolyte. I escaped Corban in a disguise without arousing Darth Barriss' suspicion. Draw free. I mustn't stop moving. Uh, I instruct the thousands of Sith. If even one recognizes me, Barriss will hunt me down and punish your treachery. For this reason, I have left Imperial space. Remember my teachings and watch yourself. Darth Barriss is a master tactician who will not suffer defiance. May we meet again one day. Yeah. That guy was cool. My first master or whatever you want to call him. My first master. Ah, uh, you always remember your first. Unless you never have one. Oh no. Is something going to happen when I get up here? Somebody's going to be mad at me for something, aren't they? I knew it. Oh, wait. Never mind. Wow. Take a look at that. We're going style now. Wooey. Nice ship. Are you leaving Dromund Cast? Yeah, I was thinking about it. Who the hell are you? Your name, now. Relax. I'm a friend. Bearing gifts. Sylvanta Grathen sent me to deliver this token of her appreciation for all you've done for her. It will greatly enhance this new ship of yours. Oh, is it a limited edition Pez? I always, in, I always like those. I try to keep them and save them, but I always open them so I can eat the, and then use them so I can eat the candy. Yeah, I just can't help myself. She had a good time with me. I must have made quite an impression. So it would seem. Mm -hmm. On the Lady Grathen, but not on the Lord. You see, Salventa's husband, Lord Grathen, oh. has a different present he wants me to deliver. Apparently, he says you know too much. 
You know, he's not the real one, you know. Lord Grathen is dead. Don't waste your last few breaths on idle threats you have no way of carrying out. I've murdered just about every form of sentient being in the galaxy, and I'm here for you. Yeah, get over there, buddy. Ooh, there's a nice jump. Oh no, what happened? I thought you were gonna you were gonna get rid of me. Oh well. Hello? Do a kickflip over this guy. Oh, it's a robot. Always wanted my own uh, robot. I mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Oh. Gentle, kind new master. That's me. So, I get a starship and a servant too. I've always too. wanted my own joy. Not at all. I am relieved, uh, uh, pleased that you find me agreeable. I will never disappoint you, Master. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Fury Class Imperial Interceptor. A versatile craft combining a starfighter's maneuverability with armament to rival larger military vessels. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Ooh. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. I will use that any all the time. Master? Hmm. Can you fight at all? Are you at least capable of providing security while I'm not aboard? I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. I mean, can you not, uh, you can probably hold a blaster, right? I mean, why can't you do that? So you can shoot, you can fight, at least a little bit. Right? This is my ship. I'll do whatever I want. I'll jump on everything. Look at that. Look at that. I'll even jump on you. Oh, hey, vet. You got your own room? With no bed? Where's your bed? You ain't got no bed? Oh, you're, you're stretching and yawning over. You look tired. Yeah, get a bed. 
You got plenty of room for a bed. Put one in, like... Anywhere. You can do it. You know, I was a slave when I was a little girl. Before I got free. Sort of full circle, I guess. Hmm. Tell me more. Many of your people are born into slavery. Is that what happened to you? Near enough. My mother and sister and I were grabbed when I was little. I don't remember much of it. We worked the mines on Ryloth. Then they separated us. I got sold to a Rodian, then a hut. Then some sort of weird three-eyed thing. Oh no, not some weird three-eyed thing. That sounds awful. Well, I guess that's better than some like weird two-eyed thing. Oh, I guess that's what I am. Hmm. Well, how was the hut? It was, it was, was the hut good? Was he alright? Was it Jabba? And you were, uh, how old were you when this happened? All of this while he was still a child. Yeah, I was seven or eight by the time I landed with three eyes. Anyway, I guess you know you've moved around too much when a Sith ship starts to feel like home. I mean, what are you saying? Is my ship not... You don't like my ship? What are you saying? Belonging somewhere is pretty good, though. Everybody likes to have a place. I mean, look at Norm when he goes to Cheers. I bet he feels fantastic every time he goes in there and everybody's like, Norm! And I just bet it fills him with warmth inside every time it happens. This is home. And this is our strange little community. I guess you're right. Watch out, I don't start calling you Pops. Watch out, boys. Don't call me Pops, though. I don't want that. Not that. Do I look that old? Oh my god, is it the tattoos under my eyes? Do they make me look old? Well... Didn't really think that went through. Do I really look that old? You, you can't, don't call me Pops. Um. Oh, I guess I could put her in her, uh. That's not what I wanted, bro. <laughs> Whatever, it's what I got. Flight Commander Pyru, my lord. If you possess a ship, I could certainly use your talents. The Republic grows bolder. I have Their no attack talents. squadrons ambush Imperial targets and disappear into open space. We're struggling to compete. Dogfights are really my concern. Make them fear the Empire, though. We must remind the Republic who controls the galaxy. I'm doing everything in my power, my it's lord. It's me, I do. I've scrambled the Cast 23rd and Dreadwing, but it's not enough. We're forming an exclusive response squadron. Ooh. The Empire's Fury. With a Sith of your power leading the squadron, we'd crush the Republic in record time. Hmm. It would be my honor to show you how much I suck at this. I will proudly lead the Empire's fury. Excellent, my lord. Your call sign will be Tempest. Uploading mission data to your ship now. You'll work alone while the rest of the squadron assists throughout the galaxy. Strike with fury. I, I work alone. Strike for the Empire. You, you don't want to work with me? I thought you liked me. Sounds like you don't. I would, I would do a space combat mission maybe later. Right now, I'm not doing that. Oh, 
let me guess, Bears wants to talk to me about something. I don't want to talk to you, bro. Nobody wants to talk to you. Apprentice, I trust you find your starship satisfactory? It's alright. I do, Master. It's an outstanding vessel. I hope that it serves you well. There is much to be done. My interests must be protected and my enemies destroyed. Noman Carr's efforts to expose my spies and prove his Padawan's power to the Jedi Council must meet with systemic failure. You will exhaust yourself in this charge. And, uh, what exactly does me doing this entail? Like, what, 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 what are the deets? Where do you suggest I begin? The information we siphoned from that Republic agent will be our map. We know my spy on Narshadar was being surveilled. We know where this Padawan was discovered, where she trained, and that the Jedi have sent someone to investigate my spy on Balmora. The Padawan okay. will have to be hunted down and destroyed, but first you must secure my network by silencing my spies on Balmora and Narshadar. Hmm, silence them? Why not simply recall your spies? Their disappearance would look suspicious, and serve to confirm the Padawan's accusations. My spies must die. My contacts well, on sucks. Balmora and Narshadar will detail what must be done. Your tasks are paramount, Apprentice. Bring cruelty. Bring rage. Bring death. Well, thanks for the heads up. Never be one of your spies. Got it. No, I, I won't. Hmm, two different places to go. Sixteen to twenty. Twenty to twenty-four. So I should probably go to Balmora first. Probably a good idea. What do you think, Ben? All right, back to sit business. All right. Did you just say girl? You did. It's cute. I like you more now, Bet. She's my favorite. I've just finished cleaning the fuel injectors to the sublight drive. You should notice a point oh 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 eight percent power increase. Oh. Cool, impressive. Good job. I have my own droid. It's amazing. He's so good at what he does. And here we go. Oh, I'm sitting in the chair. Ah, you've arrived on Balmora. Excellent. Your contact there is Lieutenant Malavai Quinn. I trust you'll find him most helpful. I'm sure. I have no doubt, Master. This is an important mission, and I only entrust the finest. Quinn will meet you in his offices at Sobrick headquarters. We will speak again as soon as he has briefed you. Okay. Um, let's go talk to the lieutenant. I applied a fresh coat of paint to your quarters. The same color, of course, only fresher. Oh, good job. That's uh, you're doing. You're you're doing God's work there, adding fresh coats of paint of the same color. I mean, it doesn't look any different, but it just feels, hmm, newer. And that everybody always wants to feel like they're living in a new house. Good job.
Well, we're on Balmora. Oh, look at that guy. He's asleep, I think. This statue is called the Sleeping Man. Oh, is this the new cool? Oh, never mind. I thought this was a cool man group. What did they do? <laughs> Hello there, Captain Riggle. My lord, welcome to Balmora. I hope you like bomb to pieces mud holes. Captain uh, Rigel, mm -hmm. Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps. When the Empire invades, we're the ones who seal the deal. Don't suppose you're aware of the situation here on Balmora? Well, apparently it's a bombed uh, mud hole, is what you were saying. Yeah. Sounds great, like a, a fantastic vacation spot. Why don't you fill me in? I've been briefed, but I could use more details. It's war, bloody it's and limitless. War, the war Empire never changes. The Balmora in the last war, but we've been spinning our wheels in the mud ever since. Resistance fighters think they can drive the Empire off Balmora. We're here to prove them wrong. Sounds pretty easy. How hard can it be to put down a few resistance? It's not just a few resistance. They're well organized and well armed, but they can be broken. The Balmoran government in exile, backed by Minister of Defense Vol Arjun, is giving us fits, backing a strong faction of the resistance. The minister is safely off planet, but if we break his allies here, we break him. We break him, we break the resistance. So, why don't you just kill that one guy then? Why doesn't Imperial Intelligence just have him assassinated? Yeah. Yeah, I get your thinking. Cut off the head and kill the body. Except mm -hmm. resistance movements aren't organisms, exactly. If we took out Arjun, it'd be big, but as long as his power base stands, some other idealist is bound to He would just in. become a martyr, right? That's why we need to take everything out. Do we have the privilege of your support? I'll think about it. I'll look into it when I can. My second in command, Lieutenant Davril, is in Sobrick waiting to brief you on the operation's first mission. Oh, if you decide down. you're in. He's got plans to blow the Balmoran resistance sky high. Ooh. I think you'll like them. Sky high, you say? Isn't that a movie? With Tim Allen? Isn't Tim Allen in that movie? I've only seen it once. I don't really remember. At ease. Oh, you already are. <laughs> well, which one is which? I should probably go check in with the lieutenant. Lieutenant Dan. I wanted to do a cool slow walk in here, but it's way too slow and it's... Oh, here we sir, go. I apologize, sir. It was the best I could do. If that's your best, you're useless to me. I can shoot you dead with a clear Punch conscience. Punch him in the face. Is that what you want? No, sir. Then focus, Jillins. I'm scared. Dismissed. I apologize for the delay, my lord. Lieutenant Malavai Quinn, I'm to be your liaison here on Balmora. Hmm, you better be ready. Darth Barris says you're capable. I hope he's not mistaken. I will earn that distinction, my lord. Lord Barris will brief you personally. But I'm to acquaint you with the climate here on Balmora first. 
Okay. Proceed. By all means, go ahead. Even though the Empire wrestled control of Balmora from the Republic during the war, we were never able to completely eradicate them. There is a rather sizable resistance movement. No one wants to admit it, but it's clear that the Republic is backing it. Hmm. They must be crushed. The Republic cannot be tolerated. I agree, my lord. It is my dream to see our enemy vanquished. I have a secure line to Lord Barris. I'll patch him through immediately. Ah, I see you have convened with my apprentice. I'm right here. Very good, Lieutenant. Leave us. <clears throat> Leave us, Quinn Lieutenant. Owes his career to me, but we should keep the details of your mission between the two of us. We must act swiftly. Noman Kar's Padawan has directed the Jedi's suspicions to my undercover spy there on Balmora. Do you recall this? I kind of remember something about that. Of course, I remember everything. Yeah. Good. I'll get to the point. I remember My spy everything. Is Commander Rylan of the Republic Resistance. He is the central contact for all my operatives in this sector. Unfortunately, Quinn is tracking an investigator that the Jedi have sent. That means we have to cover our tracks before you kill Rylan. Your first mandate is to destroy evidence that links Rylan to the sabotaging of Balmora's defense systems during the war. To do so, you must break into the satellite control tower. Quinn reports that the tower is a death trap of mechanical security. Who would send him? Why can't the lieutenant do that? Don't second yeah, guess me. Make him do it. If I thought Imperials could handle this, I wouldn't be bothering you with it. This task is priority one. The Jedi's investigator could be zeroing in on the evidence as we speak. Quinn has everything you'll need. I'll summon him back. Remember, he is not to know the reason for your mission. I'll be in touch. My lord, I've prepared what you need for your assault on the satellite control tower. In order to destroy the mainframe, you'll mount this charge to the base and activate it. Then contact me and I'll be able to detonate. All right. Nobody better mess with us now. Yeah. You tell him. Right on, bit. Nobody messes with us. Hello. Who were you? Lieutenant Darville. My lord, word of your talent precedes you. Ooh. I'm honored. Cool. You're well aware of the situation, I'm sure. The government oh, in yeah. exile, the resistance, cowards. If my lord is willing, we're going to bury them in their little hidey holes. Why don't you cut to the chase? Yes, I get it. We're going to crush the resistance. What's your point? The old government sending generators to the Resistance, powering their artillery. The Resistance has given pardons to Balmora's worst killers in exchange for a little guard duty. Phase one of Operation Breaking Point is to destroy those generators and put those killers to sleep. You in? No. Well. Sure, why not? I have a few moments I can spare. You find the time. You rain death. The generators are in the Nibre warehouse. If you can blow them to pieces, you'll show the Balmoran resistance it takes more than cold-blooded killers to stop the Empire. Hmm...
So, what does he want me to do? Destroy the resistance generators. Okay. Well, I guess I shall have to do that then. Displaying all authorized destinations. Are you? Hmm. I guess let's go do big, let's get the, I don't know. Travel route is confirmed. Let's head down here. Ooh, I discovered a workshop. Alright, where do I need to go? To the left, to the left. Everything I own is in a box to the left. New kickflip? Alright. That was the coolest thing that I've ever seen, ever. Hey guys. Ooh, a canyon. Leave me alone, Mr. Lizard. What the hell did you just do to me? Don't mess with us now. polka dot buck tooth lizard whatever whatever you are freaking buck tooth lizard there's another one oh, he doesn't look right okay Look at that, we headed out on our own. Got our own ship. We're, we're basically uh, on our own now. Doing our own thing. On another planet. But, that's where I'm gonna end this one. I hope everyone enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. I hope everyone has a good day. I also hope I have a good day. Hope everyone has a good day. And I shall see you on the next one. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, and that is... Goodbye. <laughs>